Morning, Year Six. Morning. Today's chapter is called Crackle, Crackle, Crackle. Stella crouched in her father's study and took a deep breath. She lifted the telephone receiver and placed it to her ear. The girl wasn't sure she could hear a dialing tone. There was so much noise coming from the kitchen. Still, she put her finger in the dial and turned it. The girl winced as, at the loud whirring noise of the dial returning to its place, despite all the hullabaloo from down the corridor. As she heard plate after plate smashing to the ground, Stella turned the dial twice more and waited anxiously. Finally, a voice on the other end of the line. Hello, came in an unusually high-pitched tone. Emergency services, which service do you all require? Please, replied Stella as quickly and quietly as she could. I am sorry, miss, could you repeat that, please? There is a loud noise at your end. Yes, yes, of course, I am sorry, said the girl, speaking louder this time. I need the police right away. The police? Putting you through? There was a pause. And then another voice came on the line, a much deeper one, so deep it was almost a growl. Police here! Little to sax me, police station. What crime are you reporting, miss? <laughs> it is, um, somehow Stella felt foolish saying it. Go on, repeated the voice. It's a... Uh... Yes, spit it out. A murder. There, she'd said it. On the other end of the line, there was a silence for a moment before the voice said, A murder? Yes, replied the girl. In fact, two murders. Any more? Stella was more than a little bit taken aback by the policeman's tone. Perhaps he thought it was another stupid child making a hoax call. Look, you must believe me, sir, pleaded Stella. I am deadly serious. Yes, just two. Well, not just two. Two. That is still quite a lot. Are you sticking with two? Yes. Just the two murders? Yes, that's right. Any advance on two? No. So, miss, would you care to tell me who exactly has been murdered? Mama and Papa. I mean, my mother and father. Are you sure? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. So, who do you believe did the actual murdering? <laughs> Stella hesitates. This is serious. It's murder. Stella hesitates for a moment before replying. My aunt. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear what you said. I think there must be a problem on the line and I thought you said your aunt. Next, Stella had to remove the receiver from her ear as there was a deafening crackle on the other end. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Repeat that, please, demanded the voice. That's right. Uh, sir, I said my aunt. Sorry, there must be a very bad line. Crackle, crackle, crackle. <laughs> it's my aunt, exclaimed Stella, a little louder than she should have said. Her name's Alberta. Alberta Saxby. There was a scribbling ar around on the other end of the line as if the policeman was making notes. So, did you say aunt? This Alberta Saxby, is she a miss, a missus, or a miz? Um, uh, miz, I think. Miss, yes, Miss, Miss Alberta Saxby. It was clear the policeman was taking notes. Now I hardly need to tell you that there is a terrible snow snow all over England tonight. Yes, I know, replied Stella. She could hear the toe tapping on the window of the study as she spoke. So, Miss, I'm afraid this is going to have to wait until the morning. Stella felt scared. Who knew what the wicked woman might do to her before then? Are you sure you can't send anyone tonight, please? She pleaded. Quite sure, miss, came the firm reply. But rest assured, as this is a murder, a double murder, beg your pardon, miss, we shall send out our best detective from the police headquarters at Scotland Yard in London first thing in the morning. Goodbye. Just as she was about to put down the receiver, Stella remembered something. Don't you need my address? Oh, yes, came the voice at the other end. I do beg your pardon, miss. What is your address, please? 
It's, um, Saxby Hall. Yes, Saxby Hall, yes. I have that written down. I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name, miss. Well, I, I am, in fact. Yes. Stella eventually blurted out, Lady Saxby. She knew from being with her parents that using your title always made other people sit up and take notice. A lady, are you indeed? The tone sounded a little mocking. Um, yes, I am the new Lady Saxby, Lady Stella Saxby. Well, Lady Saxby, it's awfully late now. The clock here at the station, well, it says it's well after midnight. I must be way past your bedtime. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Stella agreed, although it seemed impossible to even think about going to sleep now. Then I suggest you go straight to bed, and the detective will be with you first thing in the morning. Oh, do you promise? I promise, Miss, beg your pardon, Lady Saxby, first thing. Thank you. Stella just had to try and stay alive until then. And Lady Saxby? Yes, said the girl. Don't have nightmares. Click, and the voice was gone. And the next chapter is called Deeply Creepy. Ooh. Ooh. Until then, Ooh. goodbye. Bye.